Hey guys, we're back. Of course, I have Kat with me again. See, she's here in person, in flesh. We actually had a collab video already and we posted it um, probably last week. So go check it out. We did a collab on my channel and on her channel. And this is, um, I guess, just more collab videos. But it's gonna be <laughs> more collab videos. <laughs> but it's a Q&A version and we're both answering, uh, I guess, questions that you guys gave us uh, together. Yeah. So, so half yeah. one on my channel, half on Amy's channel. So we're somehow like mixing it up. Yes. So uh, when you're done watching this one, head over to Kat's channel and watch the other half. Got a lot of questions, yeah. so we gotta get started. I don't even know what those questions are, so let's just... Uh... Okay, I think... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read them. Okay. First <laughs> one is from I am J. Hi Schindler. I'm so sorry. Okay, <laughs> name a luxury YouTuber who, tried, who you tried to follow but whose collection you cannot relate with. Oh my gosh. Why do we have to answer questions <laughs> like this? <laughs> you mean so we don't like, we didn't follow because we can't relate? We didn't end up Or following? maybe it's sort of like we tried to follow their... You try, who, you, <laughs> who you tried to follow but you whose collections you cannot relate with. To follow. I mean, there's there there are many people whose uh, whose content and collection I, I I can't relate, but it doesn't mean that I I try to follow them and 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 then unfollow. Like I don't I don't get that part <laughs> because if I just like usually for me when I watch uh, videos, whoever it is, uh, whether I'm subscribed or not, mm -hmm. I have a purpose when I watch it. I usually am either doing research mm -hmm. or I'm bored and I just need to like have something to pass time. Um, okay, I know one. I've okay. got one. Okay, okay go so ahead. who try? I tried to follow, but I kind of don't really follow. Follow, but I try, and I cannot relate. Is people like, um, you know that girl from Bling Empire, the one that does a lot, a lot of large unboxings, but it's really, really high fashion. Jamie something. Oh, Jamie Xie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I, I, but I can't relate to her collection. Right. Like I, but I try to follow her. Some things like, oh, that's cool, but it's, I just can't relate. Oh, Because okay. it's really high fashion for me. Because she's a luxury YouTuber, right? Right, right. She is. Um, you know, I, I actually don't really know what she is in terms of like her content direction. I just know that she's a very um, like you said, very fashionable person. The stuff that she buys, mm -hmm. it's very much for fashion week. Like it's not yeah. stuff that it's not stuff that I can wear on yeah. a daily basis. Um, I like it though. I like looking at it, but like I will never buy anything that she would buy probably. True. Um, but it's not that I try to follow. I still watch her. <laughs> like, That's true. I, but I do try to follow. Yeah, I don't try to follow her yeah. style, but it's kind of also like. I don't. Yeah, it's just it's just really high fashion. So mm -hmm. I'm not that in, like you. You're interested in it because you like to watch it. Like mm -hmm. I'm not so much. I will watch it once in a while because it's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's not something that I would make as a regular view for regular regular viewing. Right. So you're not like you know uh, following all, all her videos basically, which I am not even. <laughs> so I don't know how to answer this question. This is probably for me. So mine mine Pachin Sawat. Spending ratio to get a B or a K after you got offered a constant. Oh, okay. Okay, we get a lot of these questions know, on spending I, ratio. I and I have been honest when I did my <laughs> unboxing for my for my constant. I swear I did not count. I didn't do like a, a check because I think when I got my Birkin initially, mm -hmm. I was very, you know, tactical, strategic. I was like, okay, need to buy this, you know, but, but I think I've been doing it for almost two years, right? I started in 2020 year, like November. Mm -hmm. And now it's already 2022. I honestly did not do, I didn't count. And it makes sense because, uh, so I, I think I got a similar question. Unless I go through every single receipt I have, then I can tell you exactly. But honestly, we don't want to know. <laughs> I don't really want to know as well. <laughs> From Mati, how did you become friends? YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, anyway, on my side, right? Uh, I think one of the earliest or first videos that I really remember you was your review of the 
um, Palm Springs Mini. Oh, I thought it was the boy, a Chanel boy. Oh, that too. That too. I don't know which one came first. Maybe the boy actually. Mm. Did I buy the boy first? I can't remember now. No. <laughs> it's like so many bags ago. Uh, probably, yeah, maybe it was the boy bag. Yeah. We maybe. don't say so many years ago. We say so many bags ago. <laughs> <laughs> we we kind of remember timeline based on bags or don't remember for that matter. Um, yeah, it's one of those videos. I, I remember for you three videos like the trendy, the boy, and the the Palm Springs because those were bags mm. that I didn't have at the time, but I was interested. Mm. I think um, it's the boy because I think I okay. got the boy first and then the Palm Springs okay. mini. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So probably. Okay. You, yours was one of the um, LV bags. I think it was you did like sort of a comparison, the na uh, petite Noe, oh, like a comparison or some review yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah. looking for that. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then your video started to pop up. Yeah. But I don't know what year was that. Oh, it's a long time. Mm. Noe was probably fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cause yeah. I, I think I got a bag around that time. Yeah. Yeah. Then after that, we, well, we you came you you texted me. Yes. So so obviously I was a big fan of her videos. Uh, not only did I like her personality a lot, but her her type of reviews were exactly the type of reviews that I I look for. Like I look for details. I look for pros and cons. Same. Uh, yeah. Not just like oh I love the bag. I love the bag. <laughs> yeah, I love no, the bag. No, no. You know, I, <laughs> no. I know you love the bag. That's why you bought Tell it. Tell right? me why. <laughs> Tell me more. So, so that, so that's uh, obviously that's why I was a big fan of her. And then uh, when I had the chance to, um, well, I wasn't sure I was going to Singapore, but I knew she was in Singapore. So when I, when I was almost sure that I was gonna go to Singapore, I kind of DM'd her and say, "Oh, are you in town? Like, can we have coffee or something?" And yeah, and then we met up. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So just changed has four questions for us. So I think we'll go through them pretty quickly. It's e pretty easy. Uh, luxury bags, luxury watches, or fine jewelry. Which one will you choose to go for, and only one? Oh, you go first. Bags. <laughs> I, I feel uh, like hers is a bit harder. She likes her luxury uh, jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine jewelry. I like bags, but fine jewelry has been creeping up really fast. But you know, for now, I'll still say bags because. Yeah. The thing about fine jewelry is like now she's wearing more than I. I'm not wearing what? anything. Like you're wearing more. I'm not wearing a single. Oh well, you have this. Yeah. Okay. I always have my Cartier Love, but you have earrings. I have my earrings, but I would. Yeah. I just. I don't wear them as often when I'm going out. Mm. So, I'll go with bags first. But maybe mm. ask me in a year again. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like for me, I'll still be bags because I like my jewelry, but I I wear the same things all the time. Mm. So I, I'll still get my jewelry, but I feel like bags are yeah still you number just one. Can't, yeah, you can't replace that. <laughs> all right, next. How do you save up or have enough money to keep splurging on luxury mm. every month? Every month? <laughs> well, not every month. Well, no, it's been every month, kind of. But no, <laughs> try not to. Well, I don't have kids, so I always say that. I only spend on me, and yeah, that's just it. That's the truth. Mm. I don't have like bigger expenses except for, like, kids are expensive. Yeah, but no, but you've been also been very, very responsible because like you've been working really hard. You pay off the important stuff first, mm -hmm. like the houses, the any, whatever. Any, yeah. yeah, which that's what I did. I knew that when I was younger, it was the time to work hard. And mm. I didn't know exactly how I would achieve this lifestyle. I didn't even know I could, right? I, you just do it because you have a goal. Mm. And so um, when you have already done it so early, like you paid off your house and everything early, your car, and I bought, I drive a very cheap car, by the way. Cause there was a question earlier for me, like, oh, which luxury car do you own? I actually don't. <laughs> My car is no, really yeah, old, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not a luxury car, and I'm happy about it because it's easy and cheap to maintain. So you kind of like, you just be smart financially early on on your life, so that now you can sort of splurge on it. And also remember, guys, I'm not that young. Like, I'm already <laughs> 41. Okay, <laughs> I've actually worked hard for a long time already. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think 
I think it's not just like um. I mean, yeah, for me, definitely kids, because in Asia, it's expensive. Mm. But uh, also, um, yeah, like you, I don't drive a luxury car, mm. and and I don't really spend a lot on my house. Mm. So that's also another, I think, um, way not safe, but it's sort of like allocating the money. Because I know some friends or you know acquaintances where mostly they go to the house, like renovations, right. decorations, and all. No, I totally am not that kind of person. So mm-hmm. where where do I spend on <laughs> jewelry, handbags? Well, I also want to add that um, outside of what you see on videos, what we show to you, mm-hmm. because that's what you guys are interested. Outside of that, my lifestyle is actually very simple. Like it's way more simple than you think. I don't eat out. Uh, I don't go to fancy restaurants. Um, you know, I I know how to find a good deal, like that mm. type of thing. So it's, I guess yeah. that's that it's a balance. Like, There's a balance. Yeah. yeah. How do you save? So I guess that's that's yeah. in a way, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Just next question: How you spend? How do you spend less on luxury after the borders open? Yeah. How do you spend less on luxury? How you spend less on luxury? How you spend less on luxury after the borders are open? How okay. How you spend less? I'm not sure I understand. Do you know how to answer your question? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Clarify in the comments. Okay. <laughs> Next. How long do you take to afford a Hermes Birkin? Ah. Okay. That 41 one. Forty-one years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Oh uh, no! Right. But in all seriousness, um, you you just reallocate your pro. Uh, Priorities like I I've kind of started slowing down on Chanel and then also re-editing the sh- the, the collection a bit and mm. so you kind of reallocate that money elsewhere and that's how. But forty one years is a real answer too. It's yeah, true. because like, affording it is yeah. one all ever actually in all honesty like everyone can afford a Birkin. Yeah. You can. It's just that whether you want to buy one mm-hmm. and whether you see it's worth buying, mm-hmm. it's like how do you afford buying a car? Yeah. You just make it work, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the same with the Birkin. You can. It's just that people will say, Oh my gosh, you're spending so much money on a Birkin. Mm-hmm. You can. It's just that are you ready to spend that money? Yeah. So forty one years is actually like <laughs> mentally you said, you know what? I've always loved bags. I'm it's gonna time. buy it. I'm gonna yeah. buy it. Mm-hmm. And then you make it work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just underscore Farah. What do you think of the Kelly pochette. Mm. Will you get it? If I can get one, because you have to get offered one, right? I he- I heard that they're just as hard, if not more rare than actual Kelly bags, like the regular Kelly bags. Oh really? I, I didn't heard, know that. I, I heard. Know coffee. I'm so thirsty. Sorry. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna cough any minute now. <laughs> I think that's why I coughed earlier because it was dry mouth. Um, but um, yeah, I I. I, I heard that they don't come very often and it, it also depends on availability of your store. Maybe it's more prevalent in Europe. I don't know if anybody I know in my circle of friends in my local, like who shops the local boutique that I go to have a Kelly Pochette. I don't mm. know anybody who has one. I know on social media, on YouTube, you see it often, but like I, I don't actually see it in real life. I never actually have seen one. I've seen only one actually. Actually, okay. I see more Kelly, mini Kellys than a Kelly yeah, Pochette. Yeah, exactly. I think the Pochette is not very um, like they don't come up very often. often. Yeah, because I think the pricing is really good mm-hmm. compared to a mini Kelly, and maybe they're snapped up faster. So if that's true, then if you can get one. Why not? I would, I yeah, would. Totally. Yeah, if I was offered one, I would get one. Luxy Chic. Which item your parents bought, but you think it's a waste of money oh. or ugly? Oh, luxury-wise or not, not luxury-wise? I'm gonna be, well, maybe we'll stick to luxury. Oh, nothing. My, my parents didn't buy anything. <laughs> yeah, <they> same. <laughs> <laughs> no luxury presents from my parents. No luxury presents from my parents. So I was thinking of maybe like the the fine gold, like the twenty four karat jewelry for when I was getting married. But that's about it. And then it's not ugly, but I just don't wear them. Yeah, I keep them for keepsake. Mm. Yeah, I don't have anything. 
my mom doesn't really buy me any well <laughs> yeah i mean uh, gold not yeah not really <laughs> yeah, not even for your wedding mm. those bracelets no who got who got you those bracelets? my in-law my mom-in-law oh. uh, my mom-in-law oh. my mom knew what did she give me i can't remember now no nothing N- not gold <laughs> not not gold per se i think it was other things can't remember now mm. okay next E T B I A. Mm. Any plans of traveling together? No plans, but I would love to. Yeah, no plans yeah. yet. I think when everything is really open, mm. we should all meet up in Hong Kong. Yes. <laughs> Clara is there. We get. Yes. We'll get Isabel. Come on, let's come over. <laughs> kind of like there. Yeah. She's gonna fly the long way. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, Hong Kong is kind of more central for everyone, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Like for you, it's close. For me, it's um, like 12 hour flight. And then, and then for, for Elizabeth, uh, not Elizabeth, uh, Isabel also. She's also a. It's about 10 about hours? So yeah. Roughly the same, it's right? For you, yeah. Mm. So yeah. Hong Kong. So Hong Kong's not open at all, so we're not trying Yeah, <laughs> quarantine and all, no. Ruzi.r. I really want a Birkin. Is buying pre-love advisable, or will that person be viewed as a wannabe? Oh, no. no, 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 no. I mean, no, no. As the person will not be viewed as a wannabe, but uh, yeah, go and buy pre-loved. I think that's yeah. as long as you buy it from a reputable reseller, and you get it checked. You know yes. whether whether or not it's um, you know make. Whether whether or not it's a reputable reseller, please do get it checked. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a wannabe. If you think that way, then already you don't think that you deserve it. Like that's how I interpret this question. Mm-hmm. So totally don't think that everybody deserves whatever they want to achieve. And you know, it can be a timing issue. And if you have to start pre love, just do it. Like why not? There's a pre love market for a reason. <laughs> yeah. So that you can buy it. Uh, and also in the pre-love market, it's a good time uh, and a good opportunity to buy the bigger size if you're into the bigger size because they're so much more affordable. They're actually close to retail price, which is a very good deal actually. You don't have to do the weight, the spend, as long as you don't mind pre-love. Mm-hmm. Why not? So smart actually, not want to be at all. Yeah. yeah. I started pre-love. I got my mm. Birkin pre-love. Mm-hmm. I got my Kelly and my, my Kelly 32 and my Birkin 30 pre-loved. And Honestly, you can get so many more choices in the pre-love right. market if you're not fussy. Yeah. Uh, if you know, unless you want brand spanking new, then you know it's sort of thinking, okay, should I get it in store? But if you're not fussy, you, say, you know, I don't mind it being a little older, still in great condition. You have a lot of choices of colors, of um, even the leathers. So it'll get you started if that's a if that's like your starting point. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's a wannabe because you know not everybody wants to buy in store. Yeah, exactly. Miles in Sid, you got two questions. Any dream guest you want to have on the luxury live show? Oh, dream guest? Mm-hmm. Like they're so busy that <laughs> Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, 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 Jeffrey I Star. I love him. He's so cool. He's mm. so real and like just like the eccentric in a really good way. Okay, I so would love that. We're going so big, huh? Okay, <laughs> we're going so big. Okay, okay. I don't mind having Tati. Oh, yeah, I love Tati. Tati. She's Tati. so sweet, and she's from Seattle. But I think she has she moved. She moved. Yeah, she moved. She moved here, or she's moved again. She moved. Oh, somewhere else i think she's moved to texas i think something like that oh, ah yeah. she was yeah. here for a bit yeah, yeah she was in yeah. yeah i like tati because before i was doing luxury luxury i, I started off with makeup and mm. i was watching tati um who's the other lady the one that has the lipsticks uh <laughs> jacqueline hill oh okay <laughs> for the longest time so yeah i don't mind jacqueline hill as well or, or Tati, yeah, Tati. I don't want. Tati is very sweet. I mm. like her. Yeah, that because I, I don't even care about makeup. Well, as you saw, like I, I get gifted all the <laughs> nice makeup. Uh, but I, I like watching her because her voice is very soothing. She, she's just a good storyteller, and I she's just like, like her. she's detailed as yeah, well. So she's a, really nice. Next question, what made you start your H journey? Mm. 
probably because of her <laughs> and all the friends that I have that started the really uh, you guys have influence on me for mm. sure like I would I would be lying if I said that you guys have absolutely no influence on my decision I mean obviously guilty you know, <laughs> when your friends do it uh, you know shortly after I started doing it too but like there is a reason and I think it's influence is not necessarily bla- bad mm-hmm. like it's just you know it kind of pushed me to like okay I should take that step too you know like it's it's nothing about competition if that's what you're thinking like there's nothing it's not even like that it's more like I'm inspired and and it eh, no honestly speaking I I was happy with my Chanel collection but why not why not also get a why mm. like why not like true there's no reason not to true, if true. you like bags you will like all bags from all brands right true yeah I think for me is that I've always wanted the mm. bag from the store but to start the journey in store I've never wanted I mean mm. I've never uh, sort of imagined how to do it so when the pandemic happened and I started to see on Instagram like some of the local mm. Instagram girls getting it I was thinking like Ha! Huh, it was giving me ideas. So in mm. a way, I was influenced, but not, not in our own circle, mm. but sort of like seeing friends, uh, acquaintances, IG friends right. getting it. And I was like, right, wait a minute, right. is this some, you know, possibility? Mm-hmm. So, in a way, I was influenced, but I was kind of thinking that this is the time. This is now or mm-hmm. never because with yeah, the pandemic, yeah, yeah, yeah. it really enabled for me locally in Singapore to have that opportunity because before that there was no way of getting bags I think um, in Singapore it's very competitive we get a lot of tourists coming into Singapore whether it's from Malaysia Indonesia and it's just really hard Mm -hmm. but then with the pandemic everything was closed then you know you became a look you could actually be a local customer in your store and just have that opportunity so I think that sort of opened up my eyes. I've always wanted to try, but just that fear of not being able to, you know, quote unquote, compete. You know, not really mm-hmm. compete, but mm-hmm. you know, if I'm I'm not a big spender. I will not be trashing, you know, mm-hmm. forty, fifty thousand in yeah. a single. Sp- I can't. Yeah. And our local stores in Singapore, we get, you know, people like the Prince of, mm. you know, the Prince of Brunei, or you know the. Sultan of Kedah coming into Singapore to spend in the stores. I mean, come on. So now you didn't have that. And I was like, okay, maybe there's an opportunity. So that's how I sort of started trying my luck mm-hmm. and seeing what's it going to be like to get an essay and have that experience. But it's been good. It was. Yeah. It's not. A, it's not so intimidating, actually. Mm-hmm. You have to enjoy the ride and mm. and just be genuine about it. Like, don't go in thinking that oh, I just want all the bags because <laughs> that's not how it works. Like, you really have to like everything, and yeah. eventually you do become a fan of everything that they have. It it truly, I don't know. It's so hard to explain until you do it, mm. uh, until you are in it. XO XO Daniel, your pet peeve is luxury bags on the floor. Did you put your Kelly on the floor of the airplanes? I think that's for me. The answer is no. My Kelly was wrapped up in its dust bag in a luggage, hand luggage, and packed up. So mm. I did not actually even take my Kelly out in the airplane at all. VV star underscore one. Will you let each other borrow your coveted bags? Oh. Yeah, I'll let you yeah. borrow my bag. Yeah. She might not. <laughs> Well, I trust that if I did both. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it. Yeah, I'll take care of it. (laughs) Actually, wait, let me just grab your bag. Since we're talking about your coveted bag, (laughs) I have to say, Amy has a really, really good Birkin. Like, when you you seem... I should have brought my Birkin. I didn't bring it because it was just too many bags. Yeah. You have a, like, really good Birkin. There is nothing. There's not even a... Because you don't like the veins. Yeah. I don't mind. But th- Well, I don't, I don't, I've kind of grown to love it. Mm. But at the same time, yours is just perfect. Okay. Yeah. I was it like, is. whoa. Whoa. So, Aww. I'll take a coveted bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She actually got yeah. you a really good one. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Lux.HarleyXO. Hi, Kat. 
can Priest spend pending one quarterback roll over to the second quarterback? If not, should we stop spending until the first quarterback arrives? Okay, so it's sort of like this, right? So if you keep, like, you buy a certain amount, mm -hmm. and then your first bag hasn't arrived, like, yeah. but you've sort of, you know, tactically spent up to that amount, then you said, okay, should, I, should you keep spending, and when your first quarterback comes, will that amount roll over to the second quarterback? I don't think so either. I don't so, think that's how it works. so if you spend, let's say, just give you an amount, okay, a random amount. Let's say you spend fifty thousand already, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you haven't got your first quota back, and you continue to spend another twenty five thousand, which I'm, this is like large, crazy amounts. Just but say, people actually do that. Yeah, there there yeah. are people who do that. Like yeah. uh, we don't. But let's say you do. <laughs> you go fifty, then you go seventy five thousand. That's a lot, and then you get your first quota back. And actually, you don't really need to spend so much for your first quarterback and you think that, you know, the difference is roll over to the second. The answer is no. You start again. Yeah. <laughs> so Unfortunately, yeah. That's the understanding. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if your essay is nice and they kind of like pity you because you spend 75000 they say, but no, I, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so. But I think the only exception is if you have, um, if you have been offered a SO, a special order, and the special order doesn't come until next year. So whatever mm. you're still spending right now still count towards your quarterback this year. Yeah. So assuming your special order is supposed to arrive next year, but you're still spending this year, and you're you can expect for still a regular quarterback this, this year, year, and that will count towards this bag. Correct. And then when you receive the current the this year's bag, whatever you s continue spending until you receive your special order will count towards that. The second quota yeah. bag, yeah. So that's the only exception. Yeah. yeah. That's the, I mean, that's what we hear, mm -hmm. but maybe different stores are different. Yeah. Sarah Fickley, 84. Thoughts on vintage Hermes and Chanel pieces, especially vintage Kelly, that is under retail or resale? Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think uh, I don't mind a vintage Kelly, like a vintage box 28 Kelly. Yeah, that's pretty good price. I like the vintage Kelly Mini, the mm. one that is fat and tall and it has a bigger handle. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, the maybe the Mini 1, right? Because it, it's not so, the yeah. Mini Kelly 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about Chanel vintage pieces. I'm not a big fan because the quilts are kind of flat. Like, and the hardware is very gold. It's very gold, yeah. yeah. I don't mind vintage Hermes, but Chanel, I'm surprised I'm not a fan. Mm. For me, it's just because I don't see a lot of vintage bags here in Canada. Um, so I don't really have a full answer for you because I can't judge very mm. well. So yeah, I'll, I just buy brand new <laughs> usually. <laughs> All right. Dub, uh, w... Oh, so LWQV mm, LWQV yeah. you have two questions uh, any items that you re that you regretted not getting or regretted getting and had to sell at the loss oh, yeah I have one in mind okay I think I know which one she's gonna say <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead it's the Chanel oh is it the 17B 17B right 17B what, what is it the, the oh pearl? the the roll it's like the roll oh gold. I thought you were gonna say the pearl oh no I didn't Regret oh, not regret getting. it not getting or getting and then sell okay. it for a loss. Okay, I didn't sell it for a loss, but I pretty much sold it for like what I bought for. Mm. And, you know, plus shipping and all that and insurance. And it was, you know, such a loss opportunity because it was such a beautiful bag. They never made one like that anymore. Yeah. And even though I didn't, I was, at the time I was afraid of wearing that like color and it was metallic and I, you know, pink doesn't usually... It's not that it doesn't go with me, but I, I usually wear a lot of dark colors, so I have less opportunity to wear that one. But that one is reselling for like triple, yeah, quadruple. And you know, that pains me a little bit, not just because of the resale value, but because I, I just can't buy it anymore, right? They don't even make caviar and they don't make that color anymore. Mm. What I didn't, what I regret not getting. Oh, that one. Oh, the pearl, yeah, but I don't know if I regret it, regret it anymore just because I moved on. To, mm. I moved on to better. Things now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I actually nothing comes to mind because mm -hmm. I'm kind of the person where if I don't get it already, I sort of just forget about it. Mm. So I'm trying really hard to 
think about what I regret not getting and nothing comes to mind. Yeah. Sort of like blanked it out. <laughs> your next question, what were the items, bags or jewelry that were once on your wish list but you didn't you didn't get? Mm. Okay, I know. I can say first. Okay. The love bracelet. Like I wanted to get another love bracelet. Uh -huh. It has been on my wish list, but I still haven't gotten it and I probably wouldn't because it's gone so expensive. Mm. And I'm not sure if I really want two now. You mean another one that's mm. brand new, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Um for me, I don't really know. I try not to think about those things too much, like trying to reg like regretting things. Um that I didn't get that was once uh, probably a lot of things actually I move on to a lot of things I mean not move on but like um, sometimes you just revise your wish list and you just um, forget about it right I can't remember one which one your Cartier JUC do you still want it the oh the the bracelet mm. oh I don't mind it but like it's, it's not such a priority yeah it's really not a priority mm. yeah I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind love as well. Yeah, but it's currently like sort of like it's in and out, in and out, yeah, in and out. Yeah. It's gonna out. It's not a big deal. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, blank it out. Okay. <laughs> Lux monologue. Two questions. If you could own only own ten oh, bags, how many trendy bags would you keep oh. in the ten? Oh, I I can answer this because Joe, uh, who was a member, gave right. me a really good advice. She said have a percentage of this, like of how many bags you have, have, have a percentage that are like trendy bags. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm sort of between 30 to 40%. So in mm. 10 bags, that would be three to four. I'm Ooh. okay to be trendy bags. That's a bags. high ratio actually. Yeah. I think I'm okay oh. with three to four trendy bags. Three, maybe currently four, okay. But I think as I get older or more sophisticated, maybe I'll go three, but mm. yeah. It's not half, but it's right. slightly more. I prefer a little bit more classic, but I want to have some variety and some trendy bags in my collection. I did a two part to your tag video. I did a what I likely will still have, but oh. I also did a 10, like if I only had 10 bags. I feel like my ratio would be lower, probably just 20%. Mm, so two of your, yeah. oh, okay. Like probably a little nano bag, like a little Chanel nano and something else. Mm. Yeah. I kind of, yeah, I think um, my trendy bags would be my colored bags. Those would be my mm, trendy bags. Okay. So I think I would have like three, four. Yeah, I could go four. I see, I see yeah. it. Yeah, I see it happening. Okay, one, two. All right, so we're there. Okay, Bo, Joe, Joe, Joe. Which creative director's creation do you guys like the most regardless of which brand? Oh, wow. Mm. That is so technical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I like Mark Jacobs when he was with um, LV. Mm. Th those those uh, colorful creations. Um, yeah, those are very memorable for me. Whether he's is he still like that now? I don't know because I don't really follow. Mm. But that was something that I remembered with mm. all the uh, multicolor with the painting line. I don't know the exact names. But I, the, the reason why I can't answer this question is because even though, let's say I do appreciate Marc Jacobs' mm. designs, right? Like all the, but I would not buy them. Oh. So I don't know if that counts. Like I, if I appreciate this, is that enough? But you don't buy them? Yeah, good Does point. Does that make sense? Good point. It's kind of like how Carl's did so much extravagant, um, collections for the runway and some some of some of them showed up in the bags and they're ready to wear but would you buy those things mm. that's what i'm wondering right it's i true. don't know how to answer this question yeah it's kind of i'm not really i don't really follow yeah, me neither mm. yeah unfortunately um <laughs> uh, miss ani mali which item would you want to steal or borrow Ooh. from each other's closet I don't. I won't steal your Birkin since I've already got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see which bag. Oh, I know. I'll steal your classic flat, the oh, gray one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. 
Yeah. Well. So if it's missing, you'll know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> I know where to find it. Uh, I think at the moment, just because I'm looking at it and also I don't have one yet, and that's the one I'm waiting for, I would still the Kelly 25. <laughs> it's such a stunning bag. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. It's a good bag. It's a stunning, 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 stunning. It's a good bag. pair. I know. <laughs> they're good. We're staring at yeah, that. Yeah, they're on the bed and like being friends. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Yi Lu 33. If you could re choose, what is your perfect combi for B, K, C size, color, and Ooh, hardware? Oh, okay. Okay, like we can choose one. Why don't we just pick one? Oh, okay. Like, so you could re choose your Birkin, what would you re choose? Oh, I won't re choose oh. mine. <laughs> My Birkin is perfect. <laughs> I'm know. not choosing anything else. <laughs> I wouldn't re-choose my Birkin. <laughs> okay, okay, I'd choose again. Yeah, I, okay, I'll choose my Birkin again. Because oh. I did that video where um, I said that, in well, the, my, my tag video, the crystal tag, where I said that, you know, what would be my forever, my collection in 10 years. Mm. And I did say that my Kelly will still be in my collection in 10 years. But I did say that my Birkin may not be mm. if I get another Birkin. So that means, it's not that I don't love my Birkin, I do, but I feel like black is very serious. Yeah, you want a different mm, color. I want a little, like, different color. So yeah. if I could re-choose my Birkin, it Get would a green. be... green. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. well, not green. That, I like that color, Bert Aman. Yeah. Yeah, that it's sort of like a gray, it's more gray, but it has a hint of green and blue to it. It's so gorgeous. So Bert Aman, Gold Hardware, Birkin Cellier 25. <gasps> Ooh, it's so specific! <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I really yeah. like Cellier. I think it's like you see it right now, it's so sharp. Yes, yes, yes. Ordinary. If you could swap one piece of fine, if you guys could swap one piece of fine jewelry, what is it? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you have? Uh, Did you wear all that? Yeah, I, I also have the CDC ring. Oh, okay. And the JUC thin ring. If I could swap. Um, and I don't have much earrings, so you don't have to look at earrings. Okay, I will take this ring. Ah, oh, the Kelly ring. This yeah. one. Yeah, the Kelly ring. Okay, you swap with what from me? Um, I have nothing for the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I've got the Coco rings. I've got the Coco uh, rings. Uh -huh. I have the JUC ring. The JUC. Oh, uh, I already know which one. Okay. I'll take your regular JUC. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a big swap. Yeah. <laughs> because that one is like, wow. I would, I would not really buy it, but like, if I can just swap, I, mm. oh, I would swap it. Okay. Yeah, I would okay. swap. I'll let you wear it. But like, oh, it's too heavy. <laughs> it's probably too heavy. So, I'll be like, borrow it for a day and be like, oh. Take it I back. Work out today already. <laughs> it's much thicker, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, and it's quite heavy. I tried it. Okay, candyhon.ey. Any Chanel wish list? Ah, oh, yes. I'm still waiting for my top handle mini. Mm. I still don't have that one. For uh, me, it would be. Um, 19? Gabrielle? Yeah, you know what? I don't have any right, right now. Like, I don't. You don't have any? Oh! Mm. But okay. actually, if because because I do want a Chanel like a square bag, but the Chanel mini square, but it's just that. Oh. Mm, now that I have my Constance, yeah, it's too I'm, similar. Yeah, it's too similar. I don't really know what I want anymore. So I guess nothing for me. Mm. Yay! Mm. Yay! Yay! Okay, Geraldine J. Vance. Mm -hmm. Next quarter bag you hope to be offered. Oh my gosh! Can I just like. More than one. <laughs> I think everyone knows already. For me, it's the Kelly, and uh, I I am after the mini. But I like after trying on Cat's twenty five. I really like the twenty five. So I I honestly would like both. We'll see which one just, comes. Yeah, right? just as long as the colors. I mean, I always go with the neutral colors, so I'm sure I'll like it. But yeah, your gold is just stunning, and I'm sure I'll like a black also. So yeah, <laughs> it's always the same colors with me. <laughs> Well, I hope to get either a Birkin 25, mm. a Cellier, I really mm -hmm. want that, or um, a Kelly, a mini Kelly, because I got yes. my Constance already, so it's yes. it's just the natural progression. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. I start to repeat it, right? Yeah. 
I think a mini curly is just because everybody likes the mini curly, so I may try and ask for it. Mm. But I heard that it's really, really hard to get even in Singapore. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, I'll put it out there for my essay mm. and then we'll see. Okay, Clara. Clara Zila. Yay! Non next non bag luxury item on the wish list. Non bag luxury item. Um, so it can be jewelry, it can be, be a watch, watch, can be shoes, can be anything, yeah. right? Ooh. It's hard because those things just come up and I just buy them if they like if it's the like the the time to buy it. But I would mm -hmm. say for me, probably I'll probably choose jewelry as the safest because I know I know once I commit to one piece of jewelry, I'll always be wearing it. Mm, probably. So, get a lot of wear out of yeah. it. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind another bracelet just to like combine with this one, even though I'm really happy with just the one as well. But if who knows, JUC uh, or even an Hermes Kelly bracelet, if if it goes well together, mm. or I can possibly wear on this hand, I don't know yet. But mm. or should I go for a necklace or something else? I'm not sure. I think a, I, I think, think bracelet is good. Yeah, bracelet is good. I would. Uh... Maybe I'll revive my love bracelet ah, wish yes, list. Yes. I, I mean, if, for me, jewelry, if it's non, non bag, then either that or even try and get the kind of really warming up to the idea of getting a VCA again. Oh, but in the ring, yes. the, the Giloche. Because yeah. I've tried the I've tried the bracelet and after we did our live with Karis, I was yes. kind of like, mm, if, if it damages, well, not damages, it just gets a lot of wear. Yes. I'm kind of thinking maybe the necklace or the ring, but mm. I don't really wear like I'm not wearing any necklace right, right now. I wear it once in a while, then I don't take it off. But once I take it off, it's really hard for me to yes, put it back yes, on again. Yes. But with rings, I do change, change them out quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, I'm kind of warming up to that. So it's either reviving my love bracelet mm -hmm. um, wish list or trying get VCA. Right. Actually, now that you say that, I, I'm thinking of another bracelet, the um, Bulgari Serpenti. Is oh, it Serpenti? yeah, Serpenti. That one, I like that it has more facets. Like, um, So it contrasts more with the simple design. I feel like if it's two different simple design, then it just looks the same. So yeah. I feel like that one would add more character to my stack. Yes. To, yeah. Yes. Actually, not many people buy that, right? Yeah, so. not many. Alright, so these are things for you. Wally, Wally R seventeen. What was your pre spend at Vancouver <laughs> store for the Birkin? Too much. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, no, but we kind of answer that as a general rule, and I think um, with the people that I know locally that shop the same store, the average is um, a minimum of two to one spend ratio for mm. like a Birkin twenty five <clears throat> minimum because it, it's probably more. It's not that we try not to re remember and it, that sounds irresponsible. It's just you sometimes just buy because you like the items. Like I I like I end up liking a lot of silks a lot mm -hmm. of times and uh, actually I'm wearing a new one. Um, and you just you don't really realize the spend sometimes and then the gifts do you I mean you count those ones too, right? So in the end it it does add up really really fast and I was was as I was giving advice to a member, to one of our members, I was saying to her to slow down because in Vancouver, you have to wait at least a year, even for your first bag. So if you spend too quickly at the beginning, you'll end up either, like if you don't want to overspend, you'll end up either waiting and then not see your essay for a long time, which is arguably not a good idea. So it's better to spend moderately and, and do buy things that you like. Sometimes if you do make, you know, more of a splurge in one visit, then the next visit can be more moderate. Like, mm. you know, it's it's kind of tactical, but at the same time, not really as well because you, at the end of the day, you gotta buy what you like. Yeah. And sometimes, if you really like a lot of things, you can't help yourself. Yeah. So in a way, you have to mentally budget as well because is yeah. that too much to spend yeah. too quickly? Yeah. Have a have a sort of a mental break on that. Every yeah. different country, wherever you are says I mean gives a different ratio like it yeah. could be in Australia and it could be three to one it could mm -hmm. be in America and it could be nothing like, in one, 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 one five, five. <laughs> you know it's or you like, walk in and you get a bag yeah. 
Yeah. And or you could be in Singapore where you know it's rel- It's about you know maybe just under one up to two depending on what bag you're getting. So it's it, it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. But the I guess the general understanding is you have to spend. Yes. You have to be a customer. No, maybe you should use the word spend, right? You have to be a customer. Yes. You have to enjoy the things before they actually say, look, okay, you you we will offer you a bag mm-hmm. because it's such a uh, coveted piece mm-hmm. that you could take it out from the store and you could sell it and make a profit and they yeah. just don't want you to do that yeah, yeah. and they want you to love the bag so in a way they kind of you know making you really love the brand not just for the bag yeah uh, enjoy the other things so yeah that's one way to look at it Okay, we'll do one more question on your channel and then we'll do the rest because we still have another yes. bunch of questions. <laughs> so you gotta, if you like the Q&A, you gotta come over to my come channel. Come over to Kat's channel. All right, last question is mini underscore footprints. How many hours do you spend a week on planning, filming, recording, editing YouTube oh. videos? You're, you're pretty good at um, being consistent. So I'm not really good at this because I'm all over the place. So we'll leave Amy to answer this. Oh, it's hard because I, I feel like I spend a lot of time. And that's why I only put out one video a week because sometimes some weeks I'm actually more busy. So I if I can film two that prior week, then I can relax on that second week. Some contents are a lot harder and more lengthy to make, like review videos. Mm. Reviews, when you have to like jot down all the stuff that you need to talk about, show the product, measure everything, those take forever and do mod shots. Uh, styling videos take forever. My room is usually in a disaster after styling a video and just the cleaning part takes yeah. two hours. I edit throughout the week, like whenever I have time to sit down, which yeah. which means I have no free time. Mm. So yeah, it's it feels like a full-time job, but it's kind of like a hobby, right? You, when you like something, you just keep doing it whenever you're free to do. So uh, it's a lot of hours. I don't it, know. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like when I... Uh, when I edit a video, like, okay, let's take this video as an example. Mm, yeah, so we've been is, filming for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this video, because it's, well, this is sort of like, kind of like easier because it's chit chat. Yes, yes. And then it's just editing out all the, you know, rubbish that you will not see. <laughs> um, it's already an hour of filming. And after this, you've got to review it and yes. you've got to edit it. So they'll take another maybe two, yes. three hours. Yes. Yes. So just a simple video like this will take easily four hours. That's just the yeah. base. And then you've got those editing videos where you got to plan for it. Because this is totally not unplanned. This is well, right. it's still planned. In a way, you've got to talk and you know discuss a little bit. Yeah. But it's not as planning where you do reviews, right, you right, measure right. and everything. And that already takes out a few hours. Yes. Then you sit down and edit, I mean, film it. That's a yeah. couple of hours and you edit it throughout the week and you, you add up all that hours. It's easily four or five hours. So that's only one video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. an easy video, say three to four hours. Yeah. A long video, it could be a day and a half. 10, 20 hours, honestly. Mm-hmm. Not even joking. Cause a lot sometimes I redo videos too, like yeah. I don't like it, and I refilm it, and I re-edit it, and oh, yeah, such a pain. yeah. I try, so. which is why I don't do mod modeling mm. like this kind of. Um, you like to do the. I mean, you, you're good at it. Cause I'm not good at it. I have no patience, so I like to do sit down chit chat videos. Mm. I do makeup videos. It's kind of like one shot. If I don't like it, I'll scrap it. I'll do another video. But to put all the things together yeah. and change, I'm like, no. I do a few of them. I'm like. I'm done. <laughs> that's my that's my workout. She yeah. actually works out at a gym, but that's my workout. It's so. tiring because you can like take it off, put it off, take it off, put it on, and I'm so impatient. So I don't really do mod like mod shot mm-hmm. videos very often, which it's obvious on my channel. You can see I'm like, <laughs> all right, quickly, ten seconds, you're done. <laughs> but yeah, because they take a lot of time. Yeah, they yeah. do. But if you enjoy it as a hobby, it's it'll be fun. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Q&A. So, part one? Yeah, part one. So don't forget to go over to Kat's channel to watch part two and also our collab that we did last week. And yeah, we'll see you over there. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>